All right, so here we are with Intro to Networks, part two, more terminology. So here we have six vertices that have not yet been connected. Let's connect them up into a network. Okay, here we have our network. You can see we have vertices and we have edges. Um, this one. This, if we stick with our towns terminology, this is a group of towns, and F, you cannot get from F to any of these towns, and you can't get from any of these towns to F. So our first little bit of terminology here is an isolated vertex. So there's our isolated vertex. It's not joined to other vertices. That's a bit sad, so let's build some roads. We're going to build some roads, something like that. All right, now we come to our next little bit of terminology. Multiple edges, two or more edges connecting two vertices. So you can see two examples here of multiple edges. There are two roads between towns A and C, and there are two roads between towns D and F, multiple edges. And so now we have what's called a connected graph, and that means that all vertices are connected in some way. It doesn't mean that all vertices are connected to each other, so you can see F is not connected to A directly, but you can drive from F to A by passing through D and B first. So they're all connected. In other words, we don't have any isolated vertices. So connected graph. And that brings us to bridge, an edge that if erased would make the graph not connected. So this is what I mean by all this terminology. It's all connected. Um, so connected graph, all vertices connected in some way. Can you see a bridge, a road, that if I would erase the road, um, this graph would not be all connected anymore? Yes, I hope you can. Uh, if we got rid of this road between B and D, my graph is no longer connected. I've got a group of three towns over here, a group of three towns over there. So this is what's called a bridge. It's the only bridge in this graph. If I delete this edge, well, everything's still connected. I can still get from F to E, I just need to go through D. So that's not a bridge. A bridge, if I get rid of it, my graph is no longer connected. That brings us to simple graphs. A simple graph has no loops and no multiple edges. So um, you can see my graph, as it currently stands, has two problems. It has a loop and it has multiple edges between towns. So it is not a simple graph. Let's make it a simple graph by getting rid of our loop and by getting rid of multiple edges. We don't need two roads. It's a bit annoying to have to maintain two roads between two towns. Okay, it is now a simple graph. It has no loops, it has no multiple edges. And finally, that brings us to complete graphs. All vertices are connected to all vertices. Now things are gonna get really ugly here. A is connected to B and C, but it's not connected to D, E, and F directly. Maybe I should use the word directly here. Okay, so to make this graph complete, I'm going to have to make a complete mess of it. A is connected to B, A is connected to C, A needs to also be connected directly to D, directly to E, and directly to F. C is connected to A and to B, but it also needs to be connected to D, F, and E. B is connected to A, C, and D, but it also needs to be connected to E, and it also needs to be connected to F. D is connected to E, F, B, C, and A, so I'm fine. E is connected to F and to D and to A and to B and to C, and F is currently connected to um, C, F, F, D, C, B, and A, so it's all connected. Now, interesting, in a complete graph, you might look at the degree of each of the vertices and you might notice something very, very interesting about the degree of each of the vertices. I'm not going to talk about that, but that's, you might want to take a, a look. So, six new words for you to remember. Again, graph theory is very definition terminology heavy, so you need to remember all those. You need to come up with ways to remember it. Some of them are really obvious, isolated vertex. Some of them are less obvious. Simple graph, what does that mean? Complete graph, what does that mean? You've got to find ways to remember all these because we're going to keep adding to them.